Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. So today, I got Rafa's racket that I recreated, and I'm on the court. I got my man, Coach Goo, and I got my man, Coach Chris, to try it out. Let's see what they think. Stay tuned. All right, so we just got off the court trying out the recreated Rafa Nadal racket from 2008 Wimbledon, okay? So good weight, good feel, good balance, shockingly to me at least. But Goo, what did you think? This racket I used to play with when I was a junior. I have this, so this is weighted and it's Rafa Nadal's specs. And honestly, I thought I could never get any control without any of the stocks here. But this is an amazing racket. I actually got a lot of, like, the spin was still there. It's known for the spin. But feel, control, it was actually really balanced out. I loved it. Um, even though it's um, pretty heavy, and I wish I had this in the juniors, but this is actually a really good racket. I mean, I'm surprised I got, like, a lot of feel. A lot of control especially when you take off the weight right when it's stock a lot of people know this racket will fly so and those balls will sail so like for me with that weight and the strings I believe are, are, are like 15 L they are actually really really helpful to have this racket to be stable so impressions really love this racket all right so we got one thumbs up over here coach chris what'd you think so nadal's racket i felt that the biggest thing was that the weight was so distributed up here in the head and i can kind of tell why nadal has that kind of uh fast racket head swing and he kind of finishes up here uh it takes a lot of effort to do that um i don't particularly enjoy that kind of weight because you do have to generate a lot of again racket head speed and for someone with my swing too, it's a bit more difficult. But overall, compared to the uh, Aero Pro Drive that's on the line right now, it's a lot more stable. So when I was making contact through it, um, I was able to pocket the ball really nicely and send it quite, uh, quite well and cleanly over the net. Um, and it was a great racket to, to demo and try out. All right, so kind of a medium thumbs down over here. So, um, I, with the specs that I turned this racket into, I felt like it turned into a real racket. This is not your run of the mill stock racket you can get off the store that most of you guys play with. This is like a pro stock, literally, and you feel that. It is solid now, right? It's, it's heavy, right? We, it's heavy. It's mm -hmm. head heavy, right? Mm -hmm. You, not a, a child could not use this racket and be any good. There's too much drag. Although it's only 339 grams total, which is kind of light for um, a pro's racket on tour. Uh, but Nadal seems to drag this around like a, like a twig, the way he turns that forehand over. But, I mean, that's Nadal for you, though. Right, because I mean, most of the other stock pro stock rackets are in the 350, 360, even 380 range. So this is definitely on the lighter side, mm -hmm. which matches his, you know, play style. Right, uh, but this is now a real racket, as I call it. Uh, really good playing real racket. You guys know I like weight. Putting so much lead in the head pretty much balanced this racket out. Right? Look at Usually that. Usually it's like pretty head light. 
Yeah, or else it'd be like this, it's you know. Hot, yeah. But that actually feels like the rack is now. So stability is what we brought to it. You know, stiffness feels, is what we yeah. brought to it. And it feels great. It feels yeah. amazing. It yeah. feels great. It, ha- it has the same spin that Babolt's well known for. Mm-hmm. And honestly, it, now it's controllable. Now you can actually control the ball. Right, and hit through weight. people with it. Yeah, like before it would be like when I used to play with these rackets, you would literally have to somehow put it in by like pushing it in and it would, also, it would just fly. Mm-hmm. So like now that stability is there, it just makes you want to hit through it more now. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So it was like the one thing that I found hard in the stock version of this racket was it was hard to hit down the line. Yeah. Yeah, it was really hard to hit through a shot down the line. You would always miss it or it launches out just because it wants to go up. It wants to go up all the time. So it was hard to flatten it out. Now you can flatten it out as much as you want and hit it past somebody. Okay? Because now it's a real racket. Okay? A real pros racket. All right, so Goo loved it, Chris. Well, it'll grow on Chris. I, I just believe. think for me though, it's just harder to generate that faster racket speed with that heaviness of the racket. That's it for anyone who was trying to, you know, play with that. That's the only difference that I saw from that and the stock version um, of the Aeropro. So. Mm. And then for me, I mean, I used to play with this one, especially with this type of version. I remember playing with the older, ver- like the oldest version, where it was like it was blue on top. Oh yeah, yeah. So like, this is the first like when they first introduced was it the Cortex system. I used to play with this one. Um, honestly, with the weight on it, I prefer because I know I played with it before. The weight on this, when you put it on the Pro Star, like Rafa's Pro Specs, definitely ten times better for what it was, just from regular stock. Right. So we all know that he doesn't play with the Cortex. No. But no. I can't find this cosmetic or do I have one in the black version without the Cortex. So yeah. I just recreated this because this was a cosmetic he won that Wimbledon with in 2008. Yeah. So this is as close as I'm going to get to a, a Rafa racket. stock racket. Yeah. So. I mean, it's it's a great one. Yeah. And did you guys notice there's no, it's two overgrips in here. Did you guys notice that? I noticed that, that yeah. Mm-hmm. The feel felt different, for sure. Yeah. Because you would feel like an overgrip, and it's like, then, the over, first you feel like the factory grip, it's like, uh, okay, you need to get that normal feeling, but like this one, actually, I actually get get to feel like the whole grip itself. So yeah, it's the bevels. Cool. The bevels are more shown, like, were more predominant. They're sharper, so. they're more pronounced. And actually felt comfortable, because it forced me to, like, it synced in more into my hand, which is great. Right. Yeah, I didn't mind it at all, actually. No, I actually liked it more, actually. But I think as we use it longer, it's it'll gonna, yeah. probably be harder and get. It, it'll probably cause blisters on our hands. That's yeah. why you see That's Nadal's what you see is always his hands are always taped up. Okay, yeah. So, yeah. Exactly. But, like, I mean, that's how he plays. So, Guys, what did you think about the 15L at 55 pounds? I honestly thought I had a lot of control with this guy, 15L at 55. I usually play at 16, 16L, and at, like, 57. But, like, I honestly felt like... He didn't tell me, like, I was, like, shocked. Like, it was 15L, and it's on, on a lower side. So, this is a pretty good point well, to me. Well, it's thicker, and yeah. we're just two pounds lighter. So, they, they kind of compensate for each other a little yeah, bit. Yeah, a little there. bit. But, like, I felt like throughout, I felt like a lot of control. Yeah. Like, that's the biggest thing. I felt control. It's it pocketed really well. I didn't feel like there was any lack of power. No, no. the no. power is there. And then the, uh, with the added weight, too, as well. Um, like I said, you just need to generate that racket speed. Then, you know speaks for itself so yeah right so i guess we all enjoyed playing with this racket yep uh coach goo thank you very much for joining me of course of where course. can we find you goo you can find me at agu.tennis i'll also be posting content there as well all right so you guys know where to find me coach chris again taking a break from you guys all right so thank you for watching tennis spin where we put our spin on your tennis <laughs>